Uh, all right, so uh, last night, the mixed emotions, uh, sluggish first half, and you know, I, the the way that the Washington team was depleted with that quarterback who didn't really know what he was doing, and I'm going, there's no way the Eagles are going to lose this game, even when they were down ten nothing. Other the key, Washington did not get the second touchdown, and they only got a field goal. You know, they're done uh, because they needed to to take advantage of every opportunity they had, and put touchdowns on the board. Once they got to ten. I thought it was a matter of time before the Eagles would take over the game. And, and they did take over the game. And there were some hairy spots. And they started off slow. And, and it looked like they were a little rusty. Um, and, and turned the ball over. Because that was really the only way uh, Washington was going to stay in that game. But then Jalen Hurts played well in the second half. And um, they got the, the job done. So it's a win in advance. And now the season will have to come down to, I believe, it comes down to one game. And that one game is at Washington. And by then, uh, Washington will have a, a, a better contingent of players. They'll have their starting quarterback in there. So that is the key game uh, of the whole year. Uh, and if they win that game, 3-1, uh, and one, looks like we'll, we'll get them in unless the New Orleans Saints win four straight, which uh, I don't think that maybe they can do. So uh, so here we go. It's a, it's an Eagle postgame show, but it's also a General Knowledge Wednesday. So we're going to be very busy today. And, uh, of course, General Knowledge is presented by Test of North America, the choice of HVAC techs who kind of have the most accurate, liable, high-tech measurement tools in their toolbox. When precision measurements matter, be sure with Test of. Once again, the Eagles running the football bury a team. And uh, the way the offensive line is playing, they absolutely were the MVP of that game yesterday. And they keep running the football. And I keep saying, well, there comes a point in time where you're going to have to throw the football. But maybe now for the rest of the year. Maybe it's possible the Eagles just grind people down, win the rest of these games, get in the playoffs, and then take their chances with a team that's going to be much better than them in the playoffs. So, so right now, uh, they are serious playoff contenders. And uh, it's just a matter of you believing that they can pull it off. So let's take the pulse of the room. Do you believe now they can pull that off? It was Listen, they couldn't lose the game. We didn't really think they were going to lose the game. But the way they did it was nice. And, and, and they, w- w- when you have a really good offensive line, you can win a lot of games. So what's, what's your feeling in the room here? Well, I, I think that they're going to uh, they're going to make the playoffs. I, first of all, I think Miami is going actually going to beat the Saints on Monday. I think Miami is going to hurt the Eagles draft pick. I think that two of that quarterback has figured it out. And with that, Miami has figured it out. And I think they're going to beat the Saints. And I think right now, I believe the Eagles are going to make the playoffs. But that second loss, I think that they're going to win Sunday fairly easily against the Giants. Split the last two. Go in at 9-8. and eight. That's what I still see. I still, for, I personally do not see 4-0. and oh, But I do see 3-1. and one, And I think they're going to make you the think they're playoffs. Gonna be, and, and so last night was the encouraging uh, impetus that you needed to come to that belief? Well, I kind of thought it going in, but they keep on running the ball. And that now I'm switching to believe they can run the ball on anybody until somebody shows me that they can't. Before, mm-hmm. they had to show me, okay, can you do it? They've done it enough now, and they're going to get Dickerson back. Dickerson will probably be back on Sunday. Possibly he could be back Sunday, maybe not, but he'll definitely be back by the second Washington game. I'm now at the point where I'm saying this team can run on anybody. And, and they won't play enough teams between now and the playoffs that can go score 40 to make it make, take the run away from them. And for that reason, I think they're going to make the playoffs. That offensive line's playing well, quarterback's playing well. If they don't make mistakes, you see what happens. I think they're going to make the playoffs. All right, Jen, are you feeling it? I agree. Um, and I think they're going to go 3-1. and one. I think the next Washington game in Washington – I believe that they went into that Washington went into the locker room last night. It was like, okay, you know what? A week and a half, two weeks, whatever it is, till they, you know, the Eagles go to Washington. We'll get them again. We will get them then. And I think they're going to be in kind of a revenge situation. So that one's going to be tough. And then depending on what what happens with the Cowboys, whether they need whether they need to play that last game or not. I do. I'm with Ty. I believe that Miami's going to beat the Saints, and I believe that the Eagles are going right, to so work believe, their way in there. You believe a nine and seven, and they will win by a tiebreaker over nine the Saints. Eight. Mm-hmm. Nine, and nine and eight. Right nine, now. I'm sorry. Nine, yeah. nine and eight. And of course, the clearest way to get there is to win out. Which uh, if they finish ten and six, Seven, they have a, a 97% chance to make the playoffs. So they, they can solve the whole thing by, by winning out. And uh, it just, you know, they, I, they could possibly do that. I mean, uh, the Washington game is going to be tough for them to win, I do believe. The back, it's, 
Uh, but, you know, Washington could be out by then. You know? You never know what can happen you know, in a week and a half. Well, I mean, a lot they, can happen. Wait, aren't they playing Dallas? Yeah. So, so they could be out. They could be lost, lost. Yeah, lost, lost. And they're <laughs> out and they don't. And they don't really care about the game against the Eagles. So, yeah, you know, wow, they, 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 yeah right. they, they have an edge uh, here uh, coming coming down the stretch. And uh, and it looks pretty good. So we'll just analyze what you saw last night, what you liked and what you didn't like. Uh, so let's start with with what you liked. Uh, obviously, uh, listen, uh, Jalen Hurts was uh, annoying me in the first half. He really was. He was mm-hmm. loose with the ball. Uh, I still don't be- I don't have any confidence when he throws the ball long. I just don't. The one he completed at Goddard was a gift that was covered. It should have been intercepted. He he missed uh, uh, Devontae Smith down the middle of the field. So I, I am not comfortable with the way he throws the long ball. But, you know, it, 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 it continues to amaze me that teams allow Goddard to get where he wants to go. And I know he's a good player. Uh, but there was one ball in the middle of the field. They didn't even pay any attention to it. If you're not going to pay attention to Goddard, who are you paying attention to, for crying out loud? They, and, and they didn't have anybody that could cover Goddard. And it's a good thing they had him last night because he, even with the two drops, he busted them up pretty good. Yeah, he's a good player. Now, he has to concentrate, but I think he's one of those guys. I, first of all, I don't think he has bad hands. I think sometimes it's a brain thing. There's other players where it's a hand thing. He It's not with him because he makes tough catches. Um, He's a good player, and... And he, the way he blocks as well, I think that with them running and him blocking as often as he has to makes it even tougher to cover because you're not 100% sure when he – a lot of times with Kelsey and these other top tight ends, Ertz, you kind of know what they're going to do because they're not that committed to the other part of it. He blocks so well that it becomes an impossible cover. And then if you try to put a safety on him, too big, mm-hmm. linebacker too slow – and when he runs, he can grade on both guys. So he's a good football player, and he could end up possibly – he's one guy who could ascend soon to being a great player. If you're going to have a new great player, mm-hmm. he's the most likely young – because he's 26 – next great player on yeah. the team. I'll to go with Kelsey, by the way, and Johnson, who are already great players. Yeah. Those two uh, are great. Uh, all right. So, like, like, I can't complain about a lot of stuff, although the crowd was restless early. So let's touch on this here as we go into our first break. Um, some boos in the first half. They were down 10 nothing to a team that shouldn't be up 10 nothing. I mean, let's face it, that, that team was groping for air uh, with a quarterback who really didn't know what the hell was up. And so they get down 10 nothing to them because they were careless. Um, of course the crowd is going to be restless and boo when it comes to that. And then they have their favorites that they're booing. Until that guy, and I'm talking about Jalen Rager, until he makes enough plays to get the crowd back on his side, that's going to happen. And so um, this Miles Sanders thing that comes out, 2 o'clock in the morning, my man is thinking about the fans booing after he had a great game and and, and his team ran the football so well. He's thinking about the crowd booing at 2 o'clock and he puts that tweet out, don't boo us, taking a shot at the fans. I don't understand them. Don't grow, do that. grow, <sighs> Miles. Grow up. Yes. Uh, grow grow up. the hell up. What do you care? You won the game. It's 2 a.m. What did you do? Have a couple pops? <laughs> Maybe so. He had a couple <laughs> pops, and he, and he, and he had a, you know, some, some kind of an itch. He had a scratch by putting that out there. It's so dumb. He's talking about blood, sweat, and tears. What about the fans who had to do whatever they had to do to make it to that game? And be loud. It's cold outside. Rainy, when it started raining, gross. I was sitting there going, I'm glad I'm in the house. Me too. I don't want to be out there. These people are out there. They paid their money. You don't think they have to bust it at their jobs to get the money to pay to watch them? <laughs> like, I'm just tired of And, and it, I guess it's not like this is a new generation where there's some new fans that think that. But I can tell you what, there was enough fans born to where all young fans don't agree with that mess Fans can do – just leave the fans alone. If you want to rip an individual fan, if a guy throws something on the field, if a guy runs on the field, rip the fan. It's one, It's always wrong when you're a pro athlete when you rip the fans because the fans are why you exist. You don't <laughs> rip the fans ever. Just as a rule, just don't do it. Hey, listen, man, it's what they do, okay? There's a certain semblance of people that are going to do that. You're the big bad football player getting a handsome paycheck, they're not. What do you care? They're not there to serve your paycheck, right? They're they're just getting paid. You're getting paid for a performance. If they don't think you're giving a performance, that's the way they do it. You have the better bargain. You're the player who gets paid the money. They're just a guy. Stop it. And it was warranted. 
They were losing to a team that they should not have been losing to. At that moment, those boos are warranted. I don't boo, but I, and, I'm okay with it. And I agree with you. I, I never boo. I'm, I'm a person who does not actually personally believe in booing. But that doesn't mean that fans who pay their money don't have her. Because if that's the case, why should they ever cheer? No, no, if they're not supposed to be invested, why should they cheer? They should just Great sit there point. quiet? When they do something good, does he not like the cheers? If Rager ever makes a real play, he made a couple catches, he should have scored that touchdown. But if Rager ever makes a big 80-yard play, do you think they're going to cheer him? Of course yes. they are. So hey, then what's the problem? I, listen, man, I, 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 you got to understand that uh, you're acting entitled when you do something like that. You're, you're like, come on. It really does it really matter in your life that they're bowing? You're, you're, you're trying your best to win a game. They're, they're frustrated with some parts of the game. That's part of what sports is. All right, enough of that.